Morning, everybody. Um, I wanted to give you a heads up of kind of what, what went down this weekend and the, the little things I I, uh, I finished up. Um, every once in a while, all the planets line up and a miracle happens. Um, I had uh, one mistake. I missed one email. There must have been like a dozen emails. Um, when working on a set and... Um, I'm human, I'm fallible, uh, and I, I missed something. Uh, my, my customer wanted like a C-tan uh, tomb. And um, then I had a, uh, an e-bear put in an order for a bunch of my Necron stones, which, which looked pretty much like that. And um, he wanted a, a, a C-tan tomb, so I'm like, Oh my god. <laughs> this never happens. So, um, don't make it hard on yourself. Um, I know all you terrain makers, just you work your hearts out and, and you guys love to customize, but when you're trying to do this as a business, sometimes you got to economize your actions. Um, and, and this is a very, very rare occasion that I can actually do that. So I ended up making two C10 tombs. You know, one of them is on like a wasteland base, which um, I sell out of my eBay store. And the other one, um, remember that Canadian wasteland? This is the Canadian wasteland. And he wanted five, um, I think they call them victory tokens. And he said he wanted a Necron crystal. And I wanted something extra special for him. So instead of like, you know, a smaller, you know, rock and crystal kind of thing, because they've got to fit on these small bases. Um, I got them a big, you know, glass transparent one, which I think is going to look really cool. Um, he wanted some crates, so I, I made him some crates. Uh, Mecha99 uh, had a request. He wanted to see what they looked like when they were done. Um, so that is what a painted flag looks like when it's done. The red didn't turn out as well as I liked because I had a black base. Um, I guess red is more transparent than uh, blue. And also one thing that I've noticed, and you other uh, gamers out there probably have noticed this as well, when you try and dry brush red, it is so hard to get gradients of color on it. So actually the black kind of helped me out. It actually gave me some deeper shading. Uh, and I did hit this with a highlight coat, and it's it's very hard to tell. Um, however, when you check out the blue, it's much easier to pick out the highlighting on it. So, and these are really well set up, so if you've got transfers, um, you know, I don't know what he wants as far as his, his symbology is concerned. So, um, they're, they got plenty of flat areas to put your transfers on. He said I could do anything uh, that I wanted. So, I, I'm having fun with my bits boxes. So, I thought a cool little, you know, a radar kind of comm station thingy would be kind of cool since he plays mostly 40k type games. And they seem to be the ones that, uh, they're using these types of tokens for. So, um, that's a quick, ah, he's wrecking the place. That's a quick, uh, what's going on. And now you poor guys got to look at my ugly mug. No, help me. Anyhow, um, um, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'd like to think that it's it's my motto. It's not. I'm sure it's someone else's, but it's it, it's what I like to keep keep around here, uh, as far as uh, where I'm coming from. Um, always give respect where respect is due. Never never think you're so big that. You know, you don't need to stoop to help anybody else. It might might take me some time. It might take me some time to do it. And it's as the community is growing, it, it, I won't lie, it's it's getting harder. Um, 
But like I said, I, I, I love all you guys. You guys are, man, you guys are like family to me. Um, so I want to give some shout outs and um, let you guys know what's going on in the community if, if, uh, if you don't have time to, to zip around or if you're not familiar with the same people I am. Um, first things first, everybody, uh, pretty much that I've run across, knows about miniwargaming.com. Um, these guys are fantastic. They, uh, like Natuk said, and like Bootleg said, they, they do a, just a ton for the community, and they're a great bunch of guys. Uh, a lot of people think because guys are in business, you know, there's got to be some ulterior motive going on. I mean, these guys are, are giving a sale out strictly because GW is going to be, you know, raising their prices. They said, hey, you guys want, want a, a sale before this happens? And everybody said, yeah. So, I mean, pfft. You know, who does that? You know, I mean, it's never the customer that usually dictates the sale. It's usually the owner. Um, and also, um, so I mean, the, the, the business people that are out here, um, trust me, we're not, you know, these big corporations that, that drove the economy through the dirt. We're just a bunch of small guys trying to make a living. And, and, um, and I support the, the little guys. You know, I think, and, you know, they've, they've grown dramatically, but you know what? They're still little guys as far as we're concerned. They're not, they're not too big to care about us. You know what I mean? That, that counts for a lot. So their new ebook, their ebook uh, has got Natuk's thumbs up, and it's got Bootleg's thumbs up, and that's all I need to say. You guys know what I think about these guys. I am not a painter, um... But you guys are so talented, you're probably going to get me to pick up a miniature one of these days and paint because you're all so talented. Um, and it's going to be all your fault, too. But anyhow, these guys are fantastic painters. They um, they they give the thumbs up. Support the little guy, even if the little guy gets big. Um, they're great people. They, they deserve our support. Um, Lego Swindon. His name is Cameron. Um, L-E-G-O... S W I N D O N. His contest, the one I told you about, um, where you write them in, and you tell them a foot by foot by foot what you're looking for in terrain, and they're going to decide on it. It's closing down. It may have already closed down, but he wanted me to get a shout out saying it's closing down. So get them in like today if you uh, want to have a shot at having your stuff made for you. Um, two. Uh, very talented artists. Um, uh, one of them uh, messaged me, and the other one I um, I uh, got to know him through comments. Um, I I'm going to be dead honest. I try and pick out a little something special about every single person, and it, there are just so many of you guys that. I am I am in dumbfounded awe of at your ability to paint figures, um, and sometimes when you give a compliment, it seems like you're 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 kind of pigeonholing somebody, and I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna make people think, oh, this is the guy you go to to have your command pieces painted, and this guy's good at tanks, and this guy's good at you know massive amounts of troops. I I. Uh, you know, I think they're all talented, and I think they're all flexible enough that they can, they can do what they need to do. Um, stylistic differences may be your decision making price, maybe I, I don't know, but I'm going to point out two guys right now. Um, there's an uh, an artist whose name is Christopher. He's with AG Productions Inc. and um, he does a lot of like Reaper type stuff, so I mean, right there, I mean, not that I'm pigeonholing anybody, but you guys know the detail level that's involved with that stuff. And he's a just a great guy, and I want my people to check him out. He's super nice, and uh, just love him. Great guy. Um, another gentleman who was at Adepticon, I probably walked right past him, didn't even know it, and uh, he he contacted me and said he. You know, he was at uh, Adepticon, and um, 
you want me to give a shout out and hey i am always happy to give shout outs i i went i saw a fantastic orc stompa that he made and i gotta wrap this up but anyways his his name is tim a cohen t-i-m-a-c-o-w-e-n at jlminiatures.com last thing uh mecca 99 uh, needs help with a project. I'm kind of burnt out on on uh, on bricks. He's looking for a good artist with reasonable prices to do some underground, um, like sewer and underground slash dungeon and modern terrain. Um, like I said, I knew like 10 to 12 fantastic artists on eBay, and I don't know where they are now. I know there's a lot of talented guys out there. Um, Contact him if you're interested. He's a great guy. Uh, he's been in the gaming community forever. So talk to him. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.